as of July 2024, there were over 1 million international students that came to the U.S. to study. Yes, for the academic year 2022 into 2023. One of the things that is going to make you have an advantage when it comes to applying for school in the U.S. and possibly getting your visa to come to the U.S. for studies is that you write your SAT or the GRE. The GRE is simply the graduate record examination, and that covers two areas. I'm going to talk about it in subsequent videos, but this video, in this video, I'm going to talk about why you should write the GRE if you are looking forward to pursuing your master's or your PhD in the United States of America. Now, number one, a lot of schools, graduate schools to be specific, have the GRE exam as an admission requirement. So it's very vital that you write your GRE exam if you are looking forward to all your documents intact for school. Secondly, some schools or some graduate schools make sure that students that don't have the GRE results or haven't written the exam are not preferred above students that have written the exam. So if you want to be preferred, let's say there are 10 students that are applying for a particular school, for a particular program, and amongst the admission requirements, it says GRE. Even sometimes it says GRE is optional. Now it's optional, but then if you are 10 students and seven have written GRE, three have not written, who is going to be preferred above the other? There's those who have written who are going to be considered above those who have not written. So. It is very vital that you write your GRE. I know sometimes you are concerned about the cost of the exam or how long it's going to take to study. And, and even with that, you could study for GRE or SAT from three, anywhere from three to six months. And then you are good to go. You'll be able to write the exam and have good scores. I'm going to talk about the scores and how the exam is structured in another video. But for this video, I want to talk about why you need to write the GRE in order to stay ahead of the competition. Once you write the GRE, you can apply for any program in STEM. Most programs in STEM take GRE. Some are optional, some because after the COVID-19 incident, a lot of schools started to waive the GRE, but some schools still do maintain GRE as a requirement. Okay. So if you want to stay ahead of the pack, then I would recommend that you write the GRE or the SAT if you are looking for undergrad. Uh, degree. Another thing is that some schools, before they consider you for scholarship or funding, they require that you have written the GRE exam. So if you have written it, then you have an advantage, like I said, over someone else who hasn't written yet. And that's why some of us applications have been pending. You applied, you applied, you applied, but you keep getting rejections, partly because you have not written your GRE, partly because you've not written your GRE. Some also genuinely do not have scholarship or funding available uh, for that particular semester they're applying to. Okay, so it's very, very necessary that you write this GRE exam. Writing the GRE also shows that you have some kind of analytical skills for research. So if they are going to select you for a research position, it is very important that you have shown your intellectual capability through the scores that you end on the GRE. So I would advise that if you are looking forward to getting a scholarship, or advice that you write a GRE, although not all schools have GRE as a must or mandatory, but I advise that you do write it if you are looking forward to getting a scholarship to study in the U.S.